Hello everyone. Welcome back to Technology and Livelihood Education 6 class, Industrial Arts. In this video, we are going to talk about the module two, conduct simple survey using technology and other data gathering methods. This is based on the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials, also known as USLEM. For the expectations, at the end of the module, you should be able to, one, identify the types, sources of innovative finishing materials, accessories, and designs, to determine the processes to be used in enhancing or decorating finished products. Let us now proceed to the retest. Direction. Read each of the following questions carefully and write the answer of the correct answer on your notebook. Write the letter of the correct answer on your notebook. Number one, Mary wants to improve the color and protect her projects. What will she apply to her wood and metal product? A, acid, B, paint, C, pigments, D, varnish. Two, Martin put a finishing material to add a glossy look and protect his wood products. What do you call this finishing material? A. Acid B. Paint C. Pigments D. Varnish 3. This is when you apply different bits of colored stones, shell, ivory, metals, and other decorative pieces that adds a des design to wooden products. A. Clocking B. Inlaying C. Pyrography D. Wood carving let us proceed, but if you still need more time to answer this slide, please pause this video. Number four, Jerome applies this process by adding a design on wood, bamboo, and other products through art by using a burning tool. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? A, flocking. B. Inlaying C. Pyrography D. Wood carving 5. Joseph applies the art or technique of forming objects by hand from wood using a wood chisel to make decorations on his wood projects. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? A. Flocking B. Inlaying C. Pyrography D. Wood carving Next slide. 6. Martin applies an undercoat using adhesive and small fibers to create a felt-like velvety surface finish, which he used in jewelry boxes, etc. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? A. Flocking B. Inlaying C. Pyrography D. Wood carving 7. Norma applies acid to make a design on a metal products. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? A. Metal engraving B. Metal etching C. Metal stamping D. Metal varnishing Number eight, Jose applies design on metals by using a letter or number or design stamp set made from hardened steel. He apply it by using a hammer or pressing tool. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? A, metal engraving, B, metal etching, C, metal stamping, or D, metal varnishing. 9. Louise applies metal tapping and embossing to make design on metal products. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? A. Metal engraving. B. Metal etching. C. Metal stamping. D. Metal varnishing. And the last number. 
Number 10, they are the ones who make finishing materials, accessories, and designs and sell them to distributors to make to different markets for consumer use. A, advertisers. B, businessmen. C, entrepreneur. D, manufacturer. Are you done? Let us check your work. Here is the pretest key to correction. Number one, Mary wants to improve the color and protect his project, her project. What shall we, what will she apply to her wood and metal product? The correct answer is letter B, paint. Two, Martin put a finishing material to add a glossy look and protect his wood products. What do you call this finishing material? The answer is letter D, varnish. Three, this is when you apply different bits of colored stone, shell, ivory, metals and other decorative pieces that adds a design to wooden products the answer is letter b in laying for jerome apply this process by adding a design on wood bamboo and other products through art by using a burning tool what do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products the answer is pyrography letter c Five, Joseph applies the art or technique of, of forming objects by hand from wood using a wood chisel to make decorations on his wood projects. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished product? The answer is wood carving, letter D. Six, Martin applies an undercoat using adhesive and small fibers to create a felt-like velvety surface finish which you use in jewelry boxes, etc. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? The answer is letter A, flocking. Seven, Norma applies acid to make a design on metal products. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? The answer is letter B, metal etching. Eight, Jose applies designs on metals by using a letter or number or design stamp set made from hardened steel. He applied it by using a hammer or pressing tool. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? The answer is letter C, metal stamping. Nine, Luis applies tapping and embossing to make design on metal products. What do you call this process of enhancing and decorating finished products? The answer is letter A, metal engraving. And number 10, they are the ones who make finishing materials, accessories and designs and sell them to distributors to different markets for consumer use. The answer is letter D, manufacturer. So what's your score? Please comment down below. Now looking back to your previous lesson, so here's the direction. Using the diagram below, write the five factors that affect consumer or customer's choice or preference. So you have to write the factors influencing consumer choice. So please take time to answer this one on your TLE6 notebook. And once you are done, you may resume the video for checking. Are you ready to check your answers? Here is the looking back key to correction. So here are the answers. The factors that affect customer or consumer choice or preference. We have here the first one, personal fact stores. These are the gender life stage, lifestyle, and personality. For the social factors, it is the effects of people and groups influencing one another through culture and subculture, social class, reference, groups, and family. For the economic factors, it, is, it refers to such as income, education, employment, community safety, and social support. 
And moving on to psychological factors, the examples for that is motivation, learning, and socialization attitudes and beliefs. And for the last one, the environmental factors, it refers to social class, social group influences, family influence, personal influences, weather, and etc. Let us go on with the lesson proper. Do you know where to find finishing or decorating materials and how to use them to enhance your project? Are you planning to improve your product or project to make it more saleable? So here is the survey of finishing materials or accessories and designs and processes in enhancing or decorating finished products. So we have here the community. It's either home, when, when at home, it can be recycled material. So you can also go to the store or hardware. We also have here the market, the supplier and the manufacturing company. Sources of finishing materials, accessories, and designs come from manufacturing companies. These are distributed by the suppliers to the different markets down to the consumers. The said items can also be found by making a survey as to what is available in demand and trending in the market. So innovative finishing materials, accessories, and designs. There are many innovative finishing materials, accessories, and designs that are made available to beautify, decorate, and improve the quality of your finished products, like finishing materials that are used to add color or, to in, or improve its appearance and to make it more durable, like paint, varnish, shellac, locker and others these finishing materials can be applied before or after putting a decoration or design on the project that are made of bamboo wood metal plastic paper canvas and many more the second are colored paper twines that can be used in decorating wrapping various items and the like Usually, ito yung ginagamit sa mga bouquet. The third one are shells, beads, crystals, gemstones, and other small accessories that enhances the image of the product and make it more attractive. The fourth one is abaca, cinnamon, and other fibers which are locally made materials that can be used to add design to the product, used as a wrapper and other packaging purposes. With the use of innovative finishing materials, accessories, and designs, and by following the elements and principles of design, your products will be very much appreciated, syllable, and customers will patronize your products and will be back for more. They will even refer your products to friends who are also in need of the same products for good quality they have received. So processes in enhancing and decorating finished products. For product enhancement, you can choose from different processes and application methods in order to enhance bamboo, wood and metal products combination of materials for enhancing should also be taken into consideration. The use of tools and equipment in enhancing and decorating finished products are important. They will help make your work easy, fast, and of good quality. So here are the types of processes of enhancing and decorating products. We have here the paint. The application of paint can improve the color and protect wood and metal products. We also have here the varnish. Applying a varnish adds a glossy look 
and protect wood products. Pyrography. This one is a type of decorating and enhancing finished projects. So pyrography, it adds design on wood, bamboo, and other products through art by using a burning tool. The next one is flocking. Application of an undercoat using adhesive and small fibers or flocking powder to create a felt-like velvety surface finish often used in jewelry boxes or etc. We also have here metal etching, the application of acid to make a design on metal products. The next one is wood carving. It is the application of the art or technique of carving objects by hand from wood or carving decorations into wood. We have also here the inlaying. It is the application of pigments or decorative pieces to products made of wood and other products to add a design. The next one is the metal stamping. Making a design on metals by using a letter or number or design stamp set made from hardened steel and pressing the design using a hammer or pressing tool. And the last one is the metal engraving. So it is the application of metal tapping and embossing to make design on metal products. So now it is time for your activity. So direction, make a survey using the internet to look for the different finishing or decorative materials used on products made of wood, bamboo, and metal. Find out the design process, type of finishing material, and the probable source where to buy these products. So we have here the product, the design process, type, and source. So please refer to the example. We have here the wooden toy. The design process is painting. The type of the paint is paint or enamel and the source is the hardware so please answer that please make sure to copy this on your notebook and as you go along please write your answers remember there are various innovative finishing materials accessories and designs in the market that you can choose to beautify decorate and improve the quality of your finished products or projects. There are different processes to improve or enhance your finished project or product like painting, varnishing, and many more. Apply the different processes that are appropriate to the kind of materials used in your finished project or product to make it good and saleable. As we check your understanding, please do the following which is the home improvement. With the help of an adult, look for a worn out or broken furniture in your home like chair, table, etc. And apply the processes that you have learned in enhancing or decorating finished product. Always remember kids, safety first. Now, in order for me to assess what you have learned in this module, please take your post-test TLE6IA quiz number two on the given link. You may also scan the QR code that is on your screen, or you may type the link of the post-test. And the other way to access the post-test is by clicking the link on the description below. Should you have any questions or clarifications, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer that. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something from me. I'll see you again in my next video. Goodbye and stay safe, everyone.